videotape it right here on my trunk. Bring the camera right here where it's looking right at my hip, right my waist. Okay. Right here. Can you see that? Yeah. So when you go up, right, what I want to do is almost feel a little bit of a sink. Like if I drop, it's okay. Now if I throw my hands at it, I'll chunk it. But if I move that way a little bit and I just stay over the ball and cover it, I can't get out here across it because I'm going to have a bad angle attack. So my angle attack is going to be a little bit more in this channel. This runway is going to clean itself up, right? But if I go like this, I'm up here at the top and I'm throwing it this way. Yeah. I'm going to get all log jammed. I'm going to get putty with it. So once I start to creep all this back and I get this out of the way, everything comes in here. My hands, the club, and everything. So now my angle of attack becomes more head on. Now what you might do in the interim of trying to feel that a little bit if you get back here and the golf club finally gets into the inside a little bit and then you pop on it you'll push it that's what's going to happen whereas if you're up here at the top and you're already getting over the top of it and you're already coming this way it's just going to get slicey and cutty yeah so a, a good solid compressed push might not be a bad thing first if you get it if we can get you a little bit more into here uh -huh. and once it gets pivotal and you start to open up then the collision gets straight and the golf club and the ball just start to pierce more straight. Okay, so here, watch, over-exaggerated. Yeah. 